Hello, my name is Byung-ho Kang. I'm an associate professor at the School of Life Sciences of the Chinese University of Hong Kong. In this video, I will explain my recently published work on maternal inheritance of mitochondrial DNA and a protein involved in it. What is maternal inheritance of mitochondria? Mitochondria are small organelles in the cell that generate energy, and they have their own DNA for producing some of their proteins. Unlike the nuclear DNA that is inherited from both parents, mitochondrial DNA is passed down exclusively through the maternal line in most animals. In this diagram, five generations are shown, and in each generation, blue square and red circle indicates fathers and mothers. The genome of the daughter uh, from the fourth generation is a mosaic of the DNA that she inherited from all of her ancestors. The genome of this uh, lady from the fourth generation is a mosaic of DNA inherited from all of her ancestors. By contrast, her mitochondrial DNA is inherited only through the maternal line as indicated by red highlight in the diagram. Therefore, her mitochondrial DNA is identical to her great great grandmother. Then why this event happen? There are several explanations, but C. elegans, a worm species that is used to study the animal development, the sperm mitochondria that enter the oocyte, oocyte during fertilization are killed by a process called autophagy. So autophagy is an intracellular digestion mechanism that removes superfluous or damaged organelles. This is a light micrograph showing an uh, adult C. elegans worm. Inside they have eggs. And this is a fluorescent micrograph of a egg in which a key protein of an autophagy is labeled in green color. In this panel, in the same egg, sperm mitochondria are labeled with the red color. When we merge these two panels, uh, we can see that the sperm mitochondria are surrounded by the autophagy protein. Then we examine the autophagy of sperm mitochondria using high power electron microscope in the school. The mitochondria sperm are round and when they enter the oocyte they start to form this black precipitate in their matrix and this precipitate get larger and about the time they are completely enclosed by autophagosome inside is pretty bad looking. One interesting feature that we noticed is that this black precipitate forms before autophagosomes assemble around sperm mitochondria, which suggests that there is a self-initiate -deg degradation mechanism. It seems as if uh, sperm mitochondria commit suicide in the oocyte and the autophagosome cleans the cadaver. The 3D model shows uh, the structural dynamics that I just explained more clearly. We identified a protein called CPS6 from a genetic screen for a paternal factor contributing to paternal mitochondrial removal. In this histogram, when CPS6 is mutated in the sperm side, there is a big delay in maternal mitochondrial elimination, but inactivation on the CPS6 in the maternal side didn't have any effect, indicating that CPS6 is required on the, from the sperm. And when we determined the localization of CPS6, we found out that CPS6 is associated with the surface of the sperm mitochondria. But after fertilization, they migrate into the matrix of sperm mitochondria. In fact, CPS6 is an endonuclease G that uh, degrades uh, DNA. Uh, in the sperm, the mitochondria has CPX6 on their surface and their own DNA. But once fertilized, this CPS6 migrate into the matrix and degrade the sperm mitochondrial DNA, which explains why there is no mit mitochondrial DNA from the father. These damaged mitochondria are eliminated by the autophagosome. And this is my lab, and this work was done in collaboration with Dr. Ding Su of the University of Colorado and this work was supported by the Area of Excellence program, uh, which is led by Dr. Luen Jiang of the uh, CHK.
Thank you for your attention.